Hey folks, Leducium here, and I am picking up where I left off, playing Plasma Being, which is a puzzle platformer. It's an indie game made by uh, Felix Wunderlich, um, and that's pretty much it. You're a Plasma Being <laughs> energy source, sensory receiver through emotional processor. Uh, thought, thought emotional processor, huh, interesting. And then the eye moves around. Um, yeah, so it's a puzzle platformer. You're playing as a little critter there, and basically that sums up the game. It's an indie game. I picked it up on an Indie Royale bundle uh, a little while back and have been uh, meaning to play it. So here we are. I am on level 7, I do believe, and uh, I just died to this puzzle trap before uh, coming here. So let's see. What we need to do. Let's see if oh crap. Uh so okay. So eventually a laser fires and kills me. Now I know if I I can switch between different energy states by the way, uh in case you haven't caught the earlier episodes. Uh so that's kind of the catch in the game. The portal gun, if you will in this game uh, as an orange flame monster here I can run around and uh, I should say plasma being um, I can run around and uh, jump human torch is what we're gonna call ourselves because the Fantastic Four are wonderful and as the invisible woman I stand still but I can use telekinesis to manipulate objects up and down and then as uh, let's say Purple Man which is a legitimate Marvel character. Look it up. Uh, <laughs> his superpower is being purple. Or actually, he's a villain. His vil villainous power uh, is being purple. Um, I can actually teleport into objects, but apparently not all objects because I can't teleport into this one or this one. Ones I can teleport into, actually, the mouse cursor lights up purple, so it's blue right now. But I can also manipulate objects and move them around. So let's see, if I put this here to block laser shot. Okay, now if I move this around, I can use this. What I need to try to do is get the laser pointed over here into this uh, little red square, and that should open up the door. Now, I should be able to do that using this thing. And using the keyboard keys, I can move, I can rotate these objects around when I'm holding them, so. Uh, that's what I'm doing and trying to open this door like come on like so unfortunately I can't seem to lock this object into place which is what I would like to do crap so I don't know how I'm supposed to get over there wonder if okay if I jump can I trigger the laser because now that I'm over here uh oh, run! <laughs> I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. I want to know if I can trigger the laser from. Crap! We're gonna die. I'm gonna hide behind here. Shit. All right. What if I do this? Nope. Here's my evil plan. If I can trigger the laser, because it seems to take a second or so for it to trigger, so if I can trigger the laser... Crap. <laughs> if I can trigger the laser, says I, by pushing, putting this over here. Let's put this in front of me as well, just so that... I, okay, it didn't quite work as well as I thought. This is what I was hoping for. To so do something like that, the laser seems to follow me wherever I go. Interesting. Um, question is, will it stay on if I jump over here? No. Crap. All right. What if? Hear me out. What if I put this over here and I stand on top of it? Nope. 
and then I slowly use this to open the door damn it and then I get killed but I think I'm on to something so we put this over here nope don't die <laughs> Don't die to the laser. I did not mean to rotate it like that, but that's okay. All right, we put this over here. I should s no. Ah, oh, crap! I'm gonna die. Um. So my plan, my brilliant plan, is this. Um. We open the. We put this in the middle. We open the door, and then we run for it. <laughs> Basically, is the plan. So if I put this, let's put it up here. Sure, why not? So then we put this in the way of the laser. Slowly move it out so it opens the door. Crap. It closes quickly, doesn't it? And I can't leave this into in place. Oh, as soon as I move it, I die. I wonder. Okay. So if I put this over here, wait a minute. Let's think this through. I can put this over here and open the door, but as soon as I jump, I get killed by the laser. Can I? And you know, I can't jump into the purple thing. And this doesn't work. And I can't purple this thing either. And yep, as soon as I jump, the laser ends up killing me. Oh, ah, shit. Yeah, the puzzles are getting tougher, I have to say. Uh, <laughs> as the game progresses, it is getting tougher, which is nice. Um, this is an indie game. Um, as far as I can tell, it's made by one guy. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Pretty cool that this guy made this. Uh, so good work. Um, I like it. Now the question is, well now I can, nope, still can't jump. <laughs> I was hoping to use that block as a way of keeping me alive. What if I, okay, what if I do this? And it doesn't reflect off of this block. Hmm. All right, another idea. What if I lock this block into place? What if I lock it into place up here? And prevent that door from closing. Does that actually work? Holy shit. Worked. I beat you, laser. For you are uh, beaten. Now. Um, I noticed if I switch into this form, I can move to the side of the screen and see over here. Um, so I can actually see what's going on further on in the environment because I was going to try to make a jump for it, but obviously I won't make it. So I have this thing here that apparently I can lift up. Uh oh. Well, I threw it away and I guess I'm going to have to kill myself. Uh, luckily, you should restart kind of in the next phase here or right it past the previous puzzle section. So. I have to repeat the laser thing. All right. Um, can I lock this into place? Maybe. Uh, can I pick up this end? I can. Interesting. Can I lock this into place? I can. Can I jump on it? I can. Can I make it? Almost. So maybe. Ah, crap. All right. So this is glowing purple, which tells me I can teleport into it, which means I should be able to do something like this. So this is where the teleport mechanic comes in. So I can teleport into this thing. There we go. And then when it swings, if I hit the keyboard, it launches me out and oh, I didn't make it. But uh, yeah, so that seems like that is the thing to do. Uh, so the teleport mechanic, let's hang this somewhere closer to the edge here. 
Let's switch over to purple and teleport in there, get a good swing and launch and we made it. We stuck the landing. 10 points, Summer Olympics it is and uh, and now we're over here. Huh. All right. Crap. Um, so this looks like just a timing trap. This first one lights up. Wait a minute. Okay, first this one, then this one, then this one goes off, and then I should be able to make it. Okay. Now this. This one goes off, then that one goes off. Then they both go on really quickly, and... Okay. Nope. Uh, run! <laughs> Didn't expect to spawn there. Um, all right. Bottom one goes on and off real quick, so maybe. Nope. Maybe if I count it out. What? Okay, that didn't work. Uh, I should probably start counting. I'm, I'm <laughs> just staring at it, not counting. Okay. All right, wait for it. One, two, three. So as soon as this one goes off, and I go in here, one, two, three, jump, jump. Hey, all right. Now there's three of them. So how the hell am I going to do this? I'm just going to jump for it. <laughs> See if my brilliant plan of just, if I jump at it enough times, maybe I'll overload the system and uh, send a feedback loop through the circuitry which will obviously trigger the relays and the backup couplets which will then fry the whole circuit and obviously I will succeed. Or not. I'm not quite sure. I said a lot of words, uh, understood about three of them. Okay. So I think I have to do the same thing as the previous one. Why are these off? Did I defeat the lasers? I did. <laughs> These lasers apparently have been defeated by me going through them. Um, okay. At some point, I'm going to have to jump. Okay, that goes off, that goes off, and then that goes back on. Nope. Okay. That goes off. Nope. <laughs> Crap. Uh, I'm not good at these puzzles where I have to actually pay attention to a series of things happening on the screen. That's off, that's off. Okay. All right, so I have to go down there, jump, and then wait for the third one. That's off, that's off. Jump, and jump. Okay, all right, finally. Made it past that section, and uh, this asshole again. So I fought, or I've run away from this guy before in the previous level, so this is just pure platforming, which unfortunately, my fat fingers and or shitty keyboard is not making it easy for me to do. This would be a lot easier actually with a controller, which I will buy one of these days. I have a shitty controller. I actually have the Ouya controller that I've been using, but it's uh, not really good uh, for playing on the PC. I don't actually like the Ouya controller in general. If I have a complaint about the OUYA, or the biggest complaint is the controller, I do like the OUYA. I think it's a good idea for a system. Shit. Uh, I, I know a lot of people hate on it, but I kind of like it. I use it as an emulator, play lots of old games that I used to play growing up. There we go. Keep running. Keep running. That's rude. I just came out of nowhere. Uh, all right, there's a block there. I'm gonna keep running. Up, uh, crap. Um, I hope I don't have to. Hmm, apparently, I have to restart from all the way back there. So run. If you know what's good for you, run and jump. So I can hold down the run button and then hit the jump button at the same time to jump. Luckily, okay. So that dies this and I wonder if I have to lock this into place or something uh, can I make the jump I cannot uh, and that thing 
is there. Okay, let's try this again. By the way, this game is uh, on Steam Greenlight, so if you like what you see, if you like the game, feel free to vote it up. I'll have a link down below. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Uh, oh, crap. Uh, he fires bombs. Um, so, yeah, feel free to like this game um, on Steam Greenlight. Help it get approved and get onto Steam. Um, yeah, help, help the uh, developers out, I say. Ah, and the bomb's there from before. Oh shit. Uh, what? That just exploded out of nowhere. Alright. So I have to quickly switch forms and move that box. Oh, and I didn't make it. I have to quickly switch forms and move that box so that I can uh, do something or other. Maybe. <laughs> Okay. See if I can pick this box up real quick. Oh, and I get killed. I was hoping to be able to throw it. Maybe I can teleport into it if I'm purple. Throw it across the uh, gap there. Teleport into it. I can't teleport into it. The box goes flying. Okay, maybe I can throw the box at the uh, at the guy, at the enemy. Uh, the last time I fought one of these dudes was a laser dude. That oh shit! Uh, that turned out I just had to keep reflecting his lasers back at him, and just took a long time to do. A wicked long time. A wicked pissa. It's the Boston accent for you. Uh, so it took a very long time to actually kill him, which is what confused me before. But maybe it's the same thing, kind of. So if we switch and we put this box up there. Okay. Hey, it, well, cool. It prevents the bombs from hitting me. All right. That's an accomplishment. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, so... No! Shit. One of the other games on my list that I've been meaning to play, but I'm waiting to buy a controller. And I should, I should just stop being lazy, go on Amazon and buy one, uh, is uh, Dark Souls. Um, got the Prepare to Die edition. And I'm pretty sure that is meant to be played with a controller. So I've been waiting on a controller before I actually get into that game. I tried playing Rogue Legacy as well uh, on keyboard and it kind of sucked, so... I think I really need to get a controller for some of these games that I've been playing. Ah, uh, shit. There's a bomb there. Okay, let's put this up there and we'll lock it into place. And am I now safe for all time? Apparently. He's not firing at me. Jump! Nope. I wonder if it's because the bomb was already on the ground that he wasn't firing at me. We'll find out. So, do this one more time, or many more times actually, depending on if I can actually make it, make that jump, make this jump. Okay, let's just trigger that thing. Oh shit. And then of course he just fires no one. So am I going to get into this loop where I can't, uh... Do anything because there's a bomb on the ground. Nope, didn't quite make that at all. Whatsoever. I miss Mario. <laughs> this is a 
used to play Mario all the time growing up on the Nintendo on the NES and then Mario 3 on the SNES and Mario 2 actually on the NES uh, which was a weird one I don't think and it had a US release but what am I talking about I don't know uh, okay alright so we are safe now what I wonder. Oh, interesting. Uh, so that was that's cool. Um, one of the things you can do as purple is you can make the platforms bouncy. So apparently, uh, I can make him bounce the bombs back into him. And let's read some stuff. I didn't catch that. When he found another one of those odd energy pieces, it's one affected him in a similar manner as the last one, but also differently. I kind of wish between the text that there was like a pressed, uh, press a key to continue sort of thing because I don't have, not able to read all the text uh, that quickly. All right, so it looks like we got another color. So we have orange, blue, purple, and then slightly different orange. And in this form, I can actually move. So purple, I can't move. Blue, I can't move. Um, that I can move. And then slightly different orange, I can move. We'll call this one Mr. Fantastic. Uh, change to red and then press the move shape button on it. Okay. Do I have to be running? I'm not swinging. Aha. So I have to be jumping and running and then I swing. Interesting. Speaking of swinging, how great were the 70s? <laughs> uh, no. What? <laughs> um, level 8. I have no idea how long I've been playing. I've probably been playing for a little while. So let's start level 8 eventually. It's a little odd. The mouse is a little off. So if I put the mouse directly on the glowing spot here, it doesn't actually light up. I have to move the cursor a little to the left and up for it to actually recognize the spot, so I don't know if that's due to the resolution or what. And hey, different background, cool. This time, when Zeb exited the teleporter, he was once again in a new environment. And from what little he saw as he was rudely hurled into his prison, he could have sworn the scenery was similar to that where the spaceship landed. And he was right. <laughs> Suddenly, Zeb felt hope. His journey was slowly nearing its end. Okay. Anyways, I have no idea how long this game is. Um, but uh, I do know I, I can get stuck in the teleporter if I jump at just the right angle. Um, so <laughs> let's forget about that. Let's uh, explore a little bit. Play a couple more minutes, get to the first puzzle, and then I'll probably stop because... Okay, so I have to swing on this one. Um, jump and swing and somersault and stick the landing. Press the moving keys to control your momentum while swinging. Huh, interesting. Didn't know I can do that. I am assuming that with this thing, I have to push this out here. probably hang this up somewhere here and then I have to jump and swing and then looks like I can gain more momentum if I hit the movement keys and then I die <laughs> okay um, let's let's just do this puzzle because <laughs> I'm addicted and I don't want to uh, stop playing now not yet okay so jump and swing and nope <laughs> almost made it not quite or at all um trying to push this out as far as possible before i use my blue shape there to lock it into place now i wonder if it's better if i just less height but maybe more nope more, more distance so maybe out there is the solution 
jump and swing. Now let's gain some angular momentum here. There we go. Sweet. Crap. <laughs> All right, I didn't time that uh, letting go of that quite right, but I think I'm on to what I need to do, and that is I don't need to, I just need distance, not height. And jump and swing, and then land over there. Crap. Don't hit that thing. Crap. All right, so I lost all momentum. I need some height, apparently. Um, it can't all just be linear distance. So maybe like out there. Let's try that one more time. Jump, swing. Perfect. All right. Uh, so that's the end of that and then there's more. Uh, I'm gonna put a break in this video however I am gonna keep playing I'm just gonna come back in the next episode so I hope you guys keep on tuning in and um, if you like the series please leave a like if you like the videos in general or like my channel please subscribe it helps me out and you get updates whenever I post new videos so there's that and I will see you guys next time so tune in for some more plasma being